Manually cocking each round under a hammer prior to sending it down range is one of the unique aspects of shooting single action firearms. There are several ways to accomplish this task, but there are safety and rule considerations to be made that can help us determine how, and more importantly when, the revolver can be cocked. When drawing a revolver from its holster, the revolver may not be cocked until it is pointed safely downrange, at a 45 degree angle downrange. The convention applies to all shooters in all categories. Participants who violate this firearm convention are guilty of committing a minor safety violation. Minor safety violation infractions include cocking a revolver before it reaches 45 degrees downrange. It is important to note that unlike procedural penalties, a competitor can commit and be scored for multiple minor safety violations in a single stage. So, what are some tips that can help us to not cock our revolvers prematurely? A mentor of mine, Papa Dave, used to instruct shooters with the following advice. When drawing your revolver, keep your arms tucked in and your revolver close to the body until it reaches chest level. Then, as you're pushing the revolver towards the target, pull back the hammer. By keeping your revolvers close to your body after you clear leather, you ensure that you clear all the props and the tables and walls as you're drawing your revolver. Then, by not cocking the firearm until you're pushing towards the first target, you are increasing the chance of scoring a hit in the event that you slip off the hammer and have an accidental discharge with that first round. Tips like these can be learned through trial and error or passed down by great cowboys and cowgirls, like Papa Dave, who hand down these tips to new shooters as they start to play the game. I'm Branch Water Jack, and I hope you found a nugget or two that you can use from this quick tip on the firing line.